Hello, my name is Brady. I work at SamFit in Corvallis, Oregon. And today, we're gonna to be talking about tension in the body and how you could actually leverage the use of tension to help you get out of pain or even improve your athletic performance or just improve your daily living. Okay, but first, I want you to stand up before I get into the topic. Stand up, stand up. We're gonna do a little test to kind of deliver the point here. You're going to get your arm out in front of you and you're gonna completely relax. Completely relax your hand, completely relax your wrist, and you're gonna bring it out. You're gonna move your arm up and down as fast as you can move it, okay? So up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, faster, faster, faster. Is that as fast as you can move it? Good, and relax, nice job. Next, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but you're going to tense your hand as much as you can, okay? So tense your hand just like this, almost like you're gonna give someone a really, really, really firm handshake. So how much tension can you put in your hand? Bring it out in front of your body and do the exact same thing. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, good, faster, and relax, nice. Didn't that feel different? It did for me, okay. What was different here? Let's, let's do it again. So relax your hand, just do it for a couple seconds. Relax, up and down and then go stiff again, stiff up and down. Okay, something's definitely changing and what's changing for me, it might be also for you. Did you feel that through your core muscles? Pay attention again, relaxed and stiff. Definitely, definitely. My hand actually delivers a signal when it goes tense, it actually delivers tension throughout the rest of the arm into the core. It's a cascading tension system. So this tenses here, everything else receives that tension signal at the same time. I think this happens in the hands and I believe it happens in the feet. So a loss of tension means a loss of connection to the most important muscles. The hands I think are connecting all the way through here, through the core as you just felt, but I think it could be felt even further in the body. The feet, I think, when the feet tense, they deliver a message all the way up the legs into the glutes and then further into the core at the same time, delivering this, this kind of like unified package of tension. Now, when someone loses tension in their hands and feet, like we just said, you're losing tension through the whole system. And then your body is not acting how I think it should be acting. When you train the hands and feet to regain this tension system, I think it can move you from pain, out of pain, or even someone that doesn't have a ton of pain from that into better athletic performance. It can just move you on that spectrum into healthier and healthier movement. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be getting into right now, is training the hands and feet so you actually have a better tension system. Okay, think about tension full body tension, just for a second. What would that actually just theoretically do? Okay, so tension across the whole body means when something is incoming, a force is incoming, whether it be you hitting the ground or, or something in your hands, you're swinging something around, you are actually able to share that force with the rest of the body. No one body part is absorbing too much force. So it's gonna cut down on your injury. It's also going to make you way stronger because now all of a sudden you, you're not just using individual muscles, you're actually using a whole body system to deliver strength, to, 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 to move the things that you want to move, to be able to get on the ground and get up off the ground. You're using a whole body effort rather than just individual muscles and the whole body is always stronger than individual. So this video series is going to be aimed at trying to restore the tension both in your hands and your feet to restore the tension in the rest of your body. These, I would say, are more of the foundational exercises. These aren't the only things that I do with my classes and my clients, but I think these are a very, very, very important starting point. Things that I still do every single day before I approach the, the training that I might have in the day or just the day ahead of me too. I just think they're ultra important. Okay, so follow along on the next ones. I will see you in the next video. We're gonna start by addressing the feet first.